So in this abstract, we looked at two large cohorts of patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia who were hospitalized with COVID-19 um, through the spring of 2020. And this was an international collaboration with 141 centers. There were two cohorts. The first was um, put together in concert with ERIC, um, the Italian Campus CLL program, and then GELLC in Spain. The second was a, um, a multi-center collaboration of centers in the U.S. and U.K., and all data was collected retrospectively between February and May. And everybody in the these two cohorts was diagnosed with COVID based on PCR uh, positivity from a from a swab. And our primary endpoint was to validate case fatality rate in these populations. Um, we looked at baseline characteristics. The two groups were similar in terms of age. So the first cohort, I think. The, the median age was 72, the second it was 68. And the groups were relatively similar in terms of patients who had never been treated for CLL and uh, patients who had either received prior therapy or were currently receiving um, CLL-directed therapy. With cohort one for the patients receiving therapy, having a bit higher proportion of patients receiving chemoimmunotherapy, whereas in cohort two, a, a larger proportion were receiving um, multiple novel agent combination therapies. And in this group, we looked at the symptoms that um, patients had developed when they um, presented with COVID. And there was some discrepancy in the more subjective symptoms, which was probably a product of um, the retrospective nature of the study. But proportions of those presenting with fever and derangements in lymphocyte counts were similar between the two populations. Um, about 20% of the first cohort and for about 50% of the second cohort were um, required ICU admission. Rates of supplemental oxygen um, were similar in the two groups, about 90% for both. And we looked at case fatality rates. So it was, um, the, they, it was a validated case fatality rate ranging from 30 to 34% between the two cohorts. So obviously um, a highly morbid and um, a severe condition in this immunocompromised population. And then we looked at the factors that led um, to uh, inferior survival in both groups, age and uh, SIRS score greater than three, so a higher comorbidity burden, were associated with poorer outcomes. Um, but once we looked at multivariable analyses, age was the only independent predictor of inferior survival. So it seems like older patients with CLL do seem to be at an increased risk for um, severe COVID. So these were um, two large cohorts, and we were able to see that internationally this disease is um, significant in uh, populations with immunocompromised, particularly CLL patients. And we are hopeful that with um, the upcoming uh, vaccine data and, and the widespread use of vaccines that we will see um, a significant downturn in, in these outcomes.